Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we're gonna create an archway address via the Kepler wallet. So we're gonna go to the Chrome Web Store in order to download the Kepler wallet and add it as an extension to our browser. So once we install it, we're gonna see that we can either import a wallet or create a new one. So in our case, we're gonna create a new wallet by using a recovery phrase. We're gonna be shown a mnemonic, which is a recovery phrase that it is really important to backup, as without it, you would lose access to your funds. So make sure to back it up in a safe place and let's get into it. So as you see, you're gonna show several words and once you make sure that these words are actually backed up, then the Kepler wallet is gonna ask to verify your recovery phrase. You are gonna also be asked to set up a password and to confirm it. Once you are done, you can click on next and your Kepler wallet is created. You're gonna see that it's not possible to add Archway as many other chain straight away, but we're gonna see in just a few seconds how to do it. For now on, you can just click on next and go forward with the setup. So you can see that the Kepler wallet is gonna appear as an extension on the top right side of your browser. After clicking on it, click on the menu and then click on the chain registry of Kepler, which you can find at the bottom. Once you click on it, you're gonna see a list of the available networks. You can search Archway and add it to Kepler. After you approve, you can go back to the menu of the Kepler extension and click on Manage Chain Visibility. Now, because you added the Archway network to Kepler, you can now add it as a chain also to be shown on the Kepler wallet. As you can see, you have a button to copy your address and you can choose which network co to copy your address from. If you want to send some tokens, you just select the network to, in which you want to send tokens from, in this case, Archway, and paste the wallet address recipient. You can set the amount of tokens that you want to send and click on Next. You can then approve the transaction and you can see that the transactions has been processed. 